This is Twit. Uh, we were just talking about Apple silently enabling updates. Microsoft also recently made some news for Windows 11 enterprise and education users, and I'll bet you guys are going to be talking about it tomorrow on, on Windows oh, Weekly. Oh, yeah. Um, Windows 11 enterprise and education users will be getting updates on steroids in the form of the much-anticipated no-reboot-required hot patching. Hallelujah. Yeah. Um, Microsoft will then only require a once per quarter full cold reboot with all of the other interim updates able to be applied directly to Windows running in memory. So in other words, reboots drop from 12 a year to four per wow. year. So not over, but you know, only one third as often. Microsoft's announcement blog posting about this is titled Hot Patch for Windows Client Now Available, where David Callahan, writing for the Windows IT Pro blog, says, Hot Patch updates for Windows 11 Enterprise, version 24H2, for x64, both AMD and Intel CPU devices, are now available. With Hot Patch updates, you can quickly take measures to help protect your organization from cyber attacks while minimizing user disruptions. Hot patching represents a significant advancement in our journey to help you and everyone who uses Windows stay secure and productive. So let's talk about the benefits, he writes, how it works, and how you and your organization can take advantage of this advancement as part of your Windows servicing journey. Hot patching offers numerous enhancements when it comes to keeping Windows client devices up to date. Immediate protection. Hot patch updates take effect immediately upon installation, providing rapid protection against vulnerabilities. Consistent security. Devices receive the same level of security patching as the monthly standard security updates released on the second Tuesday of every month and minimize disruptions. Users can continue their work without interruptions while hot patch updates are being installed. Hot patch updates don't require the PC to restart for the remainder of the quarter. He says, note, OS features, firmware, and or application updates may still cause a restart in the quarter. He says, you'll first create a hot patch enabled quality update policy in Windows Auto Patch through the Microsoft Intune console. All eligible Windows 11 Enterprise version 24H2 devices managed by this policy will be offered hot patch updates in a quarterly cycle. The hot patch, and, and one also thinks, Leo, that maybe at some point in the future, once hot patches have been proven and, and seen not to cause any trouble, Microsoft could certainly be pushing them out more frequently than quarterly. I oh, that's mean, a more, good point. Yes, yeah, more, monthly, more frequently yeah. than yeah. monthly yeah. if something bad happens and they want to immediately fix it. It's like, why not? It doesn't require you know a any big change. So they said the hot patch updates follow the same ring deployment schedule as standard updates. Devices receiving the hot patch update will see a different knowledge base number tracking the hot patch release and a different OS version than devices receiving the standard update that requires a restart. Hot patch updates operate on a quarterly cycle. So cumulative baseline month. So they said in January, April, July, and October, so four times per year, devices install the monthly fixed security update and restart. This update includes the latest security fixes, cumulative new features and enhancements since the last cumulative baseline. Then subsequent two months, devices receive hot patch updates, which only include security updates and do not require a restart. These devices will catch up on features and enhancements with the next cumulative baseline month, which is to say quarterly. This cycle that he wrote includes the number of required, I'm sorry, this cycle reduces the number of required restarts for Windows updates from 12 to just four per year, thanks to eight planned hot patch updates annually. To enable hot patching for Windows client devices, you'll need 
a Microsoft subscription that includes Windows 11 Enterprise E3, E5, or F3, Windows 11 Education A3 or A5, or a Windows 365 Enterprise subscription. Devices running Windows 11 Enterprise version 24H2 build 26100.2033 or later and with the current baseline update installed. An X64 CPU, including AMD64 and Intel, and he said ARM64 devices are still in public preview, but coming. So not available yet, but that'll happen. And finally, Microsoft Intune to manage deployment of hot patch updates with a hot patch enabled Windows quality update policy. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast or just click one of the links below.